Yeah. So what? What was going on? Oh, you're done talking now, huh? Talking about teeth. Huh? Yeah, we we need a, we need an ambulance at 8015 Stedman Street. 8015 which street? Stedman Street. Stedman? Yeah. Is this a house or apartment? A house, a house. Your name, sir? Kyle. Yeah, I heard my uncle was stabbed. Like. I killed my uncle. <laughs> Friends, this is Chardonnay Southern. She and her uncle, Courtney Southern, they get into an argument and Courtney ends up dead. Police then bring her in for questioning. This took place in 2018. All the images in this video are directly from the crime scene. So um, I'm getting dressed at the time, but I got off the phone with uh, Nancy. So um, I knock on Courtney's door. Courtney, uh, Courtney's door, uh, well, Courtney's room is right beside my room. Okay. So I knock on his door and uh, he says, yeah, and I open it. And I ask him if he can give me a ride to the South County building. So he is sitting on his uh, futon bed and... Wow, I asked him that, like, he looks and, like, makes his, like, you know, this this face, like, I'm asking him for too much. And I say, never mind, it's when you're, and I start, you know, I start talking underneath my breath, like, you, you don't do anything for nobody, you only do stuff for yourself. Yeah. Um, at the time, my stepfather is downstairs playing music. So I'm talking loud. My Cordy's even playing music too. But when I close his door, our walls are really thin. So he can still hear me, like, you know, uh, talking loud over the music. So uh, I'm saying, like, uh, you're, you're a light skinned, you light skinned piece of shit. You, you don't do nothing. Uh, I said, uh, basically, my uncle is dating my stepfather's oldest ex girlfriend. If that makes sense. Yeah, slow that down again. My, so my, he's dating your stepfather's my my stepfather's son. Son. Oldest son. Cody is dating this, the oldest son, the ex girlfriend, Tracy. Tracy has been to the house before while my oldest brother and Tracy was dealing with each other. He was coming over to the house, coming to family functions, coming to cookouts and stuff. Okay. Everybody knew Tracy. What's Tracy's last name? Uh, Laser. Laser. Uh, yeah, I think L L A S E R something like that. Okay. Say. So he's dating Tracy. Talking to her, she she comes over there. She the, you, we know that they got something going on because they be together. So um, come to find out, um, my older my my step uh, my old my older step brother, he had herpes, gave to Tracy. This is all. This is what I'm hearing. Sure, sure. So this is what I'm hearing. So basically, I'm saying to my uncle, like, how, like, you're trifling. Like, how, why are you dating somebody that that's already been in this household? Yeah. And then at that, you're dating your your uh, what, what's it called? Your 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 lord, your old your uh stepbrother's ex girlfriend. Like, how how does that make you look? So right. like, you know, I'm saying that to him. Um, he's you know coming back to me. Oh, that's why you're back. And you're right? you're in your room. Yeah, but but and just we're, talking yeah, the wall, we're, we're like talking to the walls, but yeah. now like my my door is like halfway open, mm -hmm. and his is halfway open too because he opened his door, so like our doors is halfway open, yeah. so like we can hear each other, right? But like I can't really hear him. Like I just know that he's saying something. I'm like shut up, man, shut up. Right. Like so, I'm just like that. So um, he's going back saying uh uh basically uh he was like uh what was he saying? He said uh. Basically, um, I'm sorry, I'll keep repeating all of my stuff. <laughs> he said, um, that's why your back hurts. Uh, you've been to the hospital how many times? Um, you have a sexually transmitted disease. Um, he said, you a crackhead. That's why you're losing all your weight. I'm not a crackhead. I haven't been eating, so it's like I, sure. have, I don't have an appetite. Right. So, um. He was like, uh, you, you're losing weight. Uh, so I, I, we're both going back and forth. Like, we're like, like we, we hear each other, but like we're like, you know, stabbing each other like in the back with words. Right. So, um, uh, he he comes out. He comes out his mom. So I'm sitting on the bed now. I'm sitting on my bed. He comes out 
out of his mind and was like, man, what's all that bullshit you talking about? Because he was like, every time you get like this, you always talking that bullshit, this and that. Um, and I'm like, get out. I said, I told him, I told him to get out because he wasn't taking me to the South County building. Like, you don't do shit for nobody. All you do is sit in the house. Um, because he was telling me that I don't have a job. And I was like, you don't have a job. All you do is sit in the house and sell drugs. Like, you don't do anything. So, um, I'm still getting, well, he walked, he, he didn't, he didn't fully come in, but he came to the door, the doorway of my, uh, of my room. Um, then he walks back. So, like, you know, we're still taking jabs at each other. Like, you like skin, this and that. Because um, this, this is, this is um, not our first incident that we had gotten to. Like, we, it never got to this point. Right. But we had gotten to a first altercation before. Um, he tried to, uh, he, he charged at me while I was leaving the house okay. um, to go to work. He had charged at me. Basically, I was uh, leaving out. We was, uh bickering back and forth and basically I knew I had hit him to a point that I hurt his feelings because he had came out he came running down out of the house and came after me like you know got in my face so I had told him and I remember that day I had told him I was like Courtney I'm not about to fight you I was like what do I look like swinging on a man I right. said you was a man I was like Courtney if I I even I told him I was like Courtney if I do something to you I would stab you and I told him that um he walked back in the house that I don't know what day this was, but this was this wasn't I won't say it wasn't too long ago, but it wasn't recently. Like more than a week ago? It wasn't more like a week ago. This was probably like some months. Okay, a couple months ago. Yeah, a couple okay. months ago. Um he went back in the house and um I started walking off and then I blacked out and I walked back in the house and I had got a knife and I went outside and I like stabbed uh, I popped his tires. And I do a walk at the back of his window. Okay. Um, my grandmother and my mom, they knew about that because my my mom called me and told me, like, because uh, I was really fragile on the phone. Like, I, I couldn't talk. Like, I was really mad and angry. Because mm-hmm. um, when I get, like, I don't know, when I get really, like, upset and, like, get to cry and stuff, like, I can't get my, like, thoughts and stuff together. So, like, she was like, you know, I, I can't talk to you right now. I talk to you when you feel, when you feel okay. So, um, I had calmed down earlier that day and just basically told her that your, your uh, brother had ran up on me, like, trying to fight me like I was a man. Yeah. And, um, that's why I retaliated and hit, I did it to his car. Like, I never, uh, I didn't hit him that day. I didn't touch him that day. Mm-hmm. I did something to his car that day. Sure. But, um, I'm sorry. What was that? What was that? What did I leave on? So, you, you were saying that. Yeah, Prior to he, talking about the, the incident a couple months ago, you said that he came to your doorway and he was standing. Yes, he came to my doorway. Um, and then he went back in his room. When he was um, at your doorway, what did he say? Oh, he was like, uh, when he came to my doorway, he was like, when you, uh, when you get on this bullshit, when you get sick like this, this is the bullshit you be talking about. Right. He was like, shut the fuck up. All because I won't take you to this uh, South County building. Right. So I was just like, get the fuck out of my face, you light skin, uh, herbie dick. Because I was like, I was calling him that he had herbie. So I was like, that's right. why your dick itching and shit. Like, right. That's why that's what I was saying. So um, he was just getting mad. Um, I go to the bathroom now. So I'm in the bathroom brushing my teeth. My okay. dad, you know, I didn't have my shirt on yet. I just okay. had my bra on. Okay. So uh, I'm in the bathroom brushing my teeth. So he comes to the bathroom mm-hmm. and he, he has his phone. So I'm brushing my teeth. So he was like, so you want to step outside? You want to step outside while I'm brushing my teeth? So when I'm brushing my teeth, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, why, why are you asking me to step outside? Right. So um, I spit on him with the toothpaste in my mouth. Okay. While he got his phone. So I spit on him okay. um, while he's recording me and I closed the door. So when I opened it, I was like, I don't care if you're sending this to my mom or my grandmother. Like, what, what are they going to do? Like, why why are you recording me while I'm brushing my teeth? Like, why are right. you asking me to step outside? Right. So um, I spit on him. Uh, the spit did not get on him. Like, okay. you know, yes, I spit, but like... <laughs> My spit like got on the floor, like sure. the, the little like that got on him. Right. So but most um, of it landed on the floor. Yes. Okay. So uh, I clean it up and I go in my room. I put this shirt on. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm standing by my closet now. 
So why turn around? He uh, it happened so fast. Like it happened really it's so fast. Um, cause when I come out the bathroom, like I don't know. I I want to say like I'm still saying shit to him. Right. Um, like why am I going outside? Like why am I about to step outside? But something I don't know. Something told me in my mind to like get my get get my knife from out of my uh, my knife was on my uh, TV stand in this uh brown little box where I keep like my candles um you know like mm-hmm. you know little gadgets and gadgets and stuff sure. so that's in your like, nightstand yeah okay. on my TV stand on TV stand so I don't know somebody just told me to like take it out and just have it open and just put it underneath my clothes that was on the bed um as soon as I put my shirt on, he charges in my room with his, uh, like his hands like this. Okay. And I just grab my knife and I just poke him like okay. that. And then like he steps back. He's like, what the fuck? Did you just stab me? And I'm like, yeah, bitch, I stab your ass. Now get the fuck out of here yeah. before I kill you. And um, he runs downstairs. Um, well, he doesn't run downstairs. He runs down the stairs and runs out the house and goes in my stepfather's van. Okay. And I hear him crying and like, you know, uh, whimpering and stuff. And I'm just standing in my room, like, you know, I didn't. I, I, I mean, I'm just pacing back and forth, uh, mm-hmm. like putting my stuff together. Uh, I put the knife back on the bed. I folded it back up, but I didn't wipe the blood or nothing uh, off of it. Okay. So to summarize so far. She gets into an argument with Courtney. She asks Courtney, can I get a ride? Courtney either says no or he's showing a lack of enthusiasm to which she gets annoyed. Anyone looking at her and Courtney can see this one isolated incident is not why they got into an argument. It seems they have history. There's tension in the house. Courtney is dating her father's ex-girlfriend or something of that nature. So she looks at him with disdain. In this particular altercation, she's brushing her teeth eventually, he starts recording her, she spits in his face, he goes into her room, and then eventually she stabs in. So let's continue. Now, um, is this the same knife she gave the officers when they got there? It's like a gold colored knife? Yeah, that's okay. the little knife. That's mm-hmm. what I told you. Okay. And um, where did you put the knife after you stabbed your uncle? I have put the knife back in the brown. Um, on my TV stand in the brown box. Okay. But I put it back in the office. Um, I don't know, because my mouth was wasting. I thought I put it underneath my uh, clothes again. Okay. But I put it back in the brown... Uh, the brown uh, container? Yeah. Okay. Um, and where on your uncle do you think you stabbed him? Um, I believe I like stabbed him like right, like right here. I don't know because like I, I just was like this, like okay. that, and I, I believe I like stabbed. The him knife right was here. in your right hand. Yeah, it was in my right hand. And just the one time you stabbed him. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't know if I stabbed him twice or so, but I know like I, I, I poked him okay. and he backed up, yep. and that was the end of it. Like I didn't charge at him, no boy, mm-hmm. when I felt like that. Okay. Um, and and. Just so I make sure I understand everything that happened correctly, um, it starts with you going to his room and saying, hey, can you take me to South County, and him basically ignoring you, and then that starts you guys back and forth about, um, you know, name-calling and different insults and stuff, right, and yelling at each other, and then he comes to your door, and you guys exchange some words, and then he leaves, and then that's when you go to the bathroom, right? Yes. And then he shows up, and you said he had his phone. Yeah, you think he, he was recording he, that? He, he does, and I would like to get that video. I, okay. I, I told the sheriff, too, because I don't know. I, I believe he sent that to my mom and my grandmother, okay. but he definitely had that phone and was recording me while I was okay. brushing my Good. teeth. Okay, okay. And did you record anything on your phone? No, I, sh- I should have. But okay. you know, I, and did he have the phone when he came back to your room a second time? Or no, okay. no, he didn't. Okay. He didn't. And um, so the second time he came back to your room, is anything said by him before he charges at you? The second time. Because no? um, you said you were putting your shirt on, you were standing second, by your closet. I, I, I believe he said something, but I, I, I can't. I, I, I can't get my you know my thoughts around it. But you know he, he did like you know when I say um like he he charged himself like he was like he, I don't know what he said, but it, like it made me like you know. Get the knife and just like oh, because I just see his heads up and like he's he's just walking fast in my room like yeah. Um, and then so I was going to ask you what you mean by charging. So he wasn't running, but he was walking fast. Yeah, like you know, like I won't. 
when I say charged, like, you know, speeding, like, you know, he, 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 he's too fast, but he's not, like, fast, fast. Like, right. he's wasting that. Okay. All right. Um, and you said his hands were up. Were anything in his hands? No. Okay. Not at all. Um, so, like, and were they was, open or were they closed? Like it this? was, like, like this. Like, like this. he was coming, like, okay. towards me like and that. What like, did you think was going to happen? I don't know. I, to to be honest, the only thing that could have happened, like him, like pushing me against the wall, uh, like choking me, um, you know, manhandling me against sure. the wall. Yeah. It never got to that point. Right. Like I said, this is the first time. But you know, thought that might have been what happened. Yeah, that could have had happened. Okay. Um, do you know the the previous time that you guys got into the alter- altercation where you? Um, punctured his tires and threw the rock at his car. Yeah. Did did he ever get physical with you that time or was it just words and and challenging you to fight? But did you guys actually ever fight? Uh it was just word like he got in my face. Like, yeah. like but did, he, did he punch you no, or anything no, like no, that? No, okay. we never like put our hands on each other. Gotcha. But I didn't retaliate to his car instead right. of him. Right. But uh it's just he that first time, like he just got in my face, like he wa- he wanted me to hit him. Yeah. He 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 like he persuaded me, like he wanted me to put my fist up and hit him. Why do you think and that is? No, that that was the first time yeah. because we was going back and forth. Yeah. And I, to be honest, I don't know why. I don't. I can't. I don't know why we was arguing, but he wanted me to hit him. Like he he was like, Sharday hit me. And I'm like, Courtney, I'm not about to hit you. I will stab you before I get something. I even told him, I said, I would get a random nigga off the streets to fight your ass. Right. Like that's what I told him. Like, um, and then he just walked off. And then I blacked out because he pissed me off. And I went to my room and got um at the time it was a different knife. It was like okay. a little pink knife. So uh Okay, so this is my closet. So um, I'm putting my shirt on. My my bed is like this, like he was on to. Uh, I got my shirt on, and as soon as I turn, like he's like, like coming like at me like that. Like, okay, so how? So when did you get the knife? Before I uh, go to the bathroom to brush my teeth, my knife was already underneath my uh, shorts and my pajama shirt. Right. So when he comes in, where's the knife? On my bed, underneath the shirt. Okay, so when he comes in really quickly like that, how are you able to get the knife? Because my bed is, is hold, my room is really small. So all I have to do is just step and get it, and okay. I, I poked him. Okay, so he's coming in, you see him coming in, and you're not sure if he says anything. Don't recall, that's okay. Um, you see him, you reach, you get the knife. Do you say anything to him? Mm-mm. Okay. Does he see that you get the knife? No, I don't believe he see me because it was just happening like really fast. Okay, so when he comes into the room, are you facing him to see him walk through the door, or are you is your attention elsewhere? My attention is elsewhere because soon as I put my my t shirt on, I turn over and he's rushing like he's rushing in. So how, <laughs> when you turn to, when you turn and you see him, how close is he to you? He's. Oh, damn, I, I mean, I know so you're not going to be perfect, right, cause, but. Because my like, room is really like, small. Like, like distance, like, distance between, like, you and this wall, or, like, twice as far as that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but but long, long enough to where you're able to get the... Are you noticing what I'm noticing? There's a sense of satisfaction in her bodily expressions in which she doesn't realize the severity of what she has done. In fact, she seems happy that he's gone, or at least been stabbed. Uh, it's unclear whether she knows at this moment whether he died or not. Yeah, because it's not that my room is not that small at all. Because he was literally standing by my fan, my closet's right there, okay. and my my bed is like horizontal, so it's on the edge of the bed. So all I have to do is just push my clothes over and just grab because it's already out. Already had it uh, out and stuff. Like the blade was. Yeah, the out. blade is already out. The so blade was out. The blade was ready. Yes. Okay. So all I had to do was just pick it up. And his arms is out, and I just poked him on the side. So when you get, when you before you went to the bathroom, you knew things were pretty heated at the time, right? Because you guys had gotten into it. That's why you put the knife yeah. there, right? In 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 looking back, okay, because I think you know everybody looks back and they might think like you know could I have done something differently? Looking back, is there something you could have done differently at that point? Not spit on him. Okay, there's that. Do you think that you could have 
you know, you, you put the knife out, things were getting heated, he comes into the bathroom. At that point, could you have went downstairs to where there was somebody else in the house, maybe called? Um, you're, you're right. There was you know, other options that I could have thought about, but I just didn't think that was going to be the right option because this is like, like I said again, this is not the first time. Like he like came at me and like wanted me to hit him. Like while I'm in the bathroom, he's telling me to step outside. Like, sure. why are you asking, why are you asking a, a female to step outside with a man? And I already know what he's capable of. Like, no, I, under, I, know, I completely understand. It's very easy sometimes to, to sit back and to look at it. Um, after it's already happened. Right. That's what I'm saying. But now that you've had you a, chance a chance to sit back and look at it, do you think maybe when you left the bathroom, you should have just left the house, maybe called the police? Yeah. So we wouldn't have gotten to this to, point. To this far, yeah. I could have just left and went to the South County building and just walked up there without... Do you not drive? Is that why you needed somebody to give yeah, you a Yeah, I don't ride? have a, a, a car. Um... Are you sorry that this happened? Um, yeah, like, you know, I, I feel bad, but I don't feel bad about what I did to him. Because, again, like, um, I've been accused for a lot of stuff living in that household. And um, that household is, uh, what can you call it? Um, it's a lot of in and out going on. Sure. So, um, sure. I'm not there all the time. And when I do get there, I'm accused of stuff that's missing, uh, stuff that's, um, you know, I, I'm not there. Why, why would I Why would yeah. I be taking stuff? Like, I have a job and stuff. So, it, it's, I, I'm, 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 like, I'm sorry, but it's like, I'm not sorry because, like, I, I don't, I'm not, I'm not a bad person. Like, I'm, I'm not, like, you know, I. You're, you're being know, honest and your feelings are your feelings. It's not it's just, at all. I just feel like if, if he haven't approached me like he did, because like, this is not just like, I, I, I'm sorry that I keep going back to the first time, but like the first time that really like tr triggered me, like, you know, that traumatized me, like. He came up on me and wanted me to fight him. Like, he wanted me to but why, raise my hand up to him. And he wanted me to hit him. And I was just laughing at him at the time. Because yeah. it, it was just funny. But So when, when you spit on him today, he laughed? Yes, he did. Actually. He laughed at you? Yes. Okay. Um, so... At the time when he laughed, it, was he amped up? Was he angry? That's or? the thing. I don't know because when I when I spit on him, I immediately shut the door. I closed the door on him. Mm -hmm. uh, I opened the door right back up mm -hmm. as soon as I was finished brushing my teeth, and he was gone. Mm -hmm. I uh, get the toilet paper, I picked the spit up, put in a uh, toilet, walk in my room, put my shirt on. As soon as I put my shirt on, he's charging in my room, and that's when I hit the knife. Okay. They leave Chardonnay by herself, they give her the jail clothing, she is now crying as it seems she's starting to understand the severity of the situation and maybe she's going through the stabbing in her head. The police are now going to go on the offensive and describe her motives a little bit more. One of the things we're trying to figure out um, is the hospital says your uncle has stabbed three times. Does that sound about right? To you? I know you said probably at least twice, but maybe. Okay. One of the things that we're trying to figure out is um, why you felt the need to use the knife. Like, what what was kind of happening when he came into the room that you felt you needed to grab the knife right then? He was about to charge at me. I knew he was about to put his hands on me. Okay. I, I know that. Okay. For sure. He's not about to just run in my room for nothing. Okay. He doesn't come in my room. Okay. Um, why, um, <laughs> did you think he was going to hit you? Yes, I thought okay. he was going to hit me. Like. Okay. Um, what made this confrontation different than the last one in terms of the last time he didn't, and he's never hit you before, right? Right. Like, so yeah. what made this different? What, what in your mind made this, this incident different in terms of him hitting you? I felt like he was going to hit me. I, I, I feel like that because I had spit on him. Okay. And why 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 are you charging me? I, I, I spit on you, you didn't do nothing then. Right. Why would I go in my room now and I'm 
putting my clothes on. Why are you charging at me now? Like, okay. Why, um, but, but, but you got the knife out before you went to the bathroom, right? I did. Okay. So why, why did you think you were going to need a knife? I don't know. It, it was for protection. Like I said, like I, like I told you, mm -hmm. the first time I said that I was going for me for the that I was going to use it like that. I was going to stab him. I was going to raise my hand at him. Okay. Just so I had it out. Okay. But he didn't know. He didn't know I had it out till he came in my room and charged at me, and right. I came back. Why didn't you take the knife with you into the bathroom then? Because I, I, I felt like I didn't need to. Like I, I, I don't know. I, I, I didn't want. I, I don't. I don't know. So, I just. So at what point did you become concerned? Like when you first saw him come into your room, or after you spit at him? When did you get concerned that something that he might get physical? And hit you or something. The way he came charging in my room. Okay. When he came and charged at me, when he came in, when I spit on him and he just stood there and laughed and I opened the door and he's gone mm -hmm. and I go in my room and I put my shirt on and he's just running in my room. Can you describe how his hands were when he came in the room again? It was out. Like he was about, I don't know, like he was about to grab me manhandled me like he was about to like tussle me against the wall or something that's how it look i mean my closet i doesn't i don't have a door on my closet it's just a curtain so i felt like you know if he did like i mean it's, it's like i said my room is not that big it doesn't take that many steps if i was gonna fall back i was gonna fall against the wall i was gonna fall in the closet but it didn't get to that point because my fan was right there and he just where, based on the layout of your room, um, did you see the pictures? I haven't seen the pictures yet. Um, where you're standing next, so you're standing. Like, I'm standing in at the, the closet. closet. I'm standing. At, I'm at the closet. And how far away is your bed? Like a step away or two you steps step, away? A step away. I can step. I can jump, and I'm on my bed. Okay. Um, and then where's your fan? A step the other way? No, it's right to my right. It's right here. You the closet. Mm -hmm. I'm standing in front of the closet. Yep. Fan is right here. To your right. The bed is right here. Okay, so everything's all real close to yes. each other. Okay. Um. So where you were standing in front of the closet is that also the same point basically where you stabbed him or no? Yes. Okay. Because he came at me. Right. And I grabbed the knife. Okay. And well, we were standing at that's where the blood is. Yeah, and um. Did he ever get his hands on you? Yeah, he touched me. Okay, where did he touch you on your body? He touched my arms, I believe. Your he, arms? He, yeah, he touched my arms. So he kind of grabbed yeah, your shoulders like, like that? I just got the knife and I poked him. Okay. Okay. Um, is he taller than you? Yes. Okay. Um, all right, so he put his arms on your shoulder. Did he put them around your neck at all? No. Okay. Um, and did he, and he didn't, did he strike you at all? No. Okay. Um, okay. And he, you told me before that he never saw the knife. Is that is that right? Yeah, he didn't see. So it. by the time he got to you and, and got his arms on your shoulders or whatever, you already had the knife and were stabbing him. Yes. By the time we, just, I know it happened okay. quick. Right, just, I don't know. I just, when he came in my room and he ran into me, when he charged at me, mm -hmm. I have got the knife. His arms is already out. Okay. What did his face look like when he was coming towards you? I didn't look at his face. like I, What were you looking at? I was just looking at him and his arms. Like, it just happened so fast. Like, all I see was his arms and him running into my room. That's okay. all I see. Okay. Him never having touched you before, never having hit you before, what did you think was going to happen? Um, you know what? I, I can't, I can't, I, I can't say it. Like, I can't say that, but like, I don't know. Like, what if like, if you spit on somebody and they just sit there and laugh, like so, they, they, I don't So know. you just weren't, you weren't sure what was going to happen. I don't know. Like, <laughs> I don't want to seem like I'm somebody that I'm not, but I just don't know. Like, 
What, what were you, by, by stabbing him with the knife, what were you trying to accomplish? I wasn't trying to accomplish nothing. I wanted him to leave me alone. Like, I wanted him to know, like, don't keep, don't run up on me. Like, I'm a female. Don't, don't try to fight me. If you don't have a female outside that's running, that, that, that wants to fight me, or if you don't have somebody that I can fight, I'm not about to fight you. Like, I'm not about to fight a man. A man shouldn't be, a man shouldn't be running up to me. I'm defending myself. Like, I don't know what could have happened. I don't know what, if I didn't have done that, I don't know what would have happened. Like, I'm just defending myself. Like, I'm in my room and he's coming in my room, running up to me. I, I'm just supposed to stand there and just, oh, I'm going to just see what's going to happen here. Well, I mean, that that does sound like a Could you have done something else? Could you have yelled? Could you yell? Yeah, I could have yelled, but ain't nobody my stepfather. Oh. You know Kai was in the house? And Kai was in the house. Kai would have had not I think Kai... He's only two rooms down. I understand. I argument. understand. And he never came out. Okay. He never came out. So you to feel Cody. like he didn't support he, you or defend you? He never came out till Cody had got stabbed. Okay. Do you... How, how come the multiple stabs... What do you mean? I didn't, I didn't know it was multiple stab. I thought I stabbed him twice. I didn't mean to stab him three times. You know, could you have stabbed him once? You yes. see what I'm saying? I mean, yes, I understand, but it's like I don't. Uh, okay, were you? Were I'm you, sorry. It's okay because like I'm we're just trying to like, I, Sometimes too, there's human nature, and sometimes in the heat of the moment, people get they're pissed, they're upset. And were you angry when you stabbed him? Yes, I mean, we was just bickering back and forth. We was just going back and forth. Right. Yeah, yes, I was mad, but it wasn't my intentions to kill this man. Like, it wasn't my, that wasn't my intentions. But was your, but was my your intentions, intentions was to hurt him? But yes, to hurt him, to let him know, like, this is your second time running up on me. The first time I told you that I was going to stab you. So he should have stayed away because you already gave him a warning. But he didn't know the warning because he did not see the life. I mean, you were telling he, him the yes, first time. Yes, So he should have known that. better. Anything else? All right. Um, Courtney's dead. Yeah. <laughs> My uncle passed away. Yeah, he's dead. Man, he can't be mad. I'm going to jail. Oh my god! No, Mike! No. <laughs> Mike. I can't even cry right now. Why? Because I'm in fucking shock. Okay, I'm. Alright, we're gonna step out. Um... Hold on, wait. Can, can, you, can you not? You can. Well, when you when you stab somebody with a knife, do you, do you understand that's a possibility of serious injury? Right? Yes, uh, yes. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, this is my first time ever being in something like this. Okay. I really need like um, some guidance and advice. Well, I, can't give you I mean, advice. I mean, I know you can't give me no advice. You can explain the process. Yeah, so we're gonna go see a magistrate in a minute. Okay. Well, I get my uh, can I can I can I call my mom? Not right now. You'll be able to give make a phone call in a little bit. Oh my God! But what am I facing? Like what 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 am I what? You're gonna be charged with murder. <laughs> oh no. Oh my gosh, this was so this was a misunderstanding. Oh my fucking god, my uncle no Courtney, Courtney, no, Courtney. So that's the end of the police interview. Chardonnay Southern was sentenced to ten years in prison. She is scheduled to be released in 2027.